So I am Alana Kravitz and I'm welcoming you to Enigma Day uh, today with Annette Siebert in Hanover in Germany. Annette, let me put you on spotlight. Welcome. Hello everybody. Dear friends that I already saw in the picture and also persons I met the first time today sitting at home and alone, not alone with my husband and uh, it's funny to be connected and to be also um, a little bit of um, alone. <laughs> yes, I love uh, this name Tischnigen and uh, to sing Tischnigen is not a part of my, of my family experience. I just made the experience uh, with friends in Weimar or in Israel and uh, so I thought when I play today here Tischnigen, I dream myself into a wonderful place uh, sitting at a table together with uh, people who are very uh, valuable for me in this place of klezmer music and uh, so I feel also very connected to people that hear now from the heaven and are not still with us and I will speak about it a little bit later again. Yes, maybe I uh, before I speak more, I just start with a set. Um, yes, I love this Nigunim and I have built up a little medley. Um, this are of, from this collection, number 74, number 7, number um, 73, and again for finishing number 7. And um, Yes, I will play it for myself as a lonely violin plasma. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
What a great medley. Good. So nice to hear you play again after all this time. <laughs> yes. Ah, now I have you got you back in my um, picture. It's funny. I, I see sometimes myself or I see all of you, but I don't see us together. <laughs> <laughs> we are all together, but apart. Yes, but I would like to see you. Oh, don't worry about that. So tell us a little bit about your, your life in Klezmer, Aneta. How, when did you first encounter the music? Oh, yes, I was um, a young mother, very exhausted. And um, my husband uh, said, I... I give you as a present, you can go one week just for yourself away. And then he throw me in the world of Klezmer with Georg Weidmann. This was really in 1993, I think. Yes, and then started a long journey. Uh, Where did that? Yes. Sorry, carry on. Yes, uh, workshops in Germany and uh, musical experiences with people of all over the world. So I really uh, uh, learned to estimate my uh, good friend, the violin, because by the violin, I got really um, um, heartful contact by playing with people from all over the world. And this is um, a fantastic klezmer experience. <laughs> yes. and. I played with uh, Stefan and Thomas together in Euftreff and later with uh, Franka Lampe in the Finkelstein Kapelle. And then Franka left us very early by her uh, deep illness. And um, yes, Thomas and me, we wanted to play um, a Nigen. I often played with her to integrate her on my tish, on my tish, my tish here. Tish here. Another friend of us, uh, Salomon Finkelstein, whom we dedicated our name, Finkelstein, Kapellchen, now Trio. Um, uh, he spent his second life in Hanover, and I met him in the tram, uh, speaking uh, Yiddish. This is really uh, not very often that you sit in Hanover in the tram and you hear Yiddish. And so we get in, got in contact and... Um, Yes, he allowed us to wear his name, and um, now uh, Thomas and me, we play uh, this uh, Nigen Good Morning for, for Salomon and for Franka, and uh, we made a special short introduction to this Nigen, and uh, this is um, a, a chain of, of sounds uh, for I used for this um, melody, the numbers of the birthday of Salek Finkelstein, and then the number of his Auschwitz number, because his second life in Hanover was his life after surviving six concentration camps. And uh, when we uh, sat as at his tisch and sang together and played together, he always was so happy to share this with us. and. Um, this I want now to feel again. <laughs> yes, so we play this um, melody of the birthday numbers from him and the Auschwitz number from him. And then we go to um, the good morning, Dobrytien. And I'm very happy that Thomas accompanies myself on the basseton. Also, here, yes. He, sa he said, uh, please tell the auditory, um, before we gave the name, Finkelstein Trio, Finkelstein Kapelle to our uh, trio, we asked him if he would agree. And we asked him also if he would agree to play the number. And he was always very um, grateful and very, um, he, he felt recognized or something like this because uh, we saw all his um, energy he took again and again really to find back in a wonderful life and so we integrate it. <laughs>
one of my favorite tunes <laughs> beautiful and the preceding tune so interesting Fat fabulous that you wrote yourselves <laughs> um, I didn't understand you the preceding tune okay yes yes this is um, our um, I think it's for me it's a question of my heart <laughs> absolutely I thought Yes, um, uh, Safalek and also um, Henry Koman, two survivors here in Hanover, uh, they sat in front of us, uh, we, we did it together to play these uh, number um, chains and um, I, I was so, so impressed to see um, their re reaction on it and um, we, yes. This really interesting. Yeah. And we also uh, played it um, on the funeral, um, on the on, on tower fire, we say. Uh, and um, we, we know he, he was 97 and uh, all these years in Hanover, he was, um, he said on, the, on, on day, day he was, uh, he, he was such, such a kind person and uh, but uh, this thing with the Nama stayed in his life always, like uh, a tune, a, a sound which comes always, came, came always with him. And so uh, we, we liked to do this in music. Yes. But now I uh, like to play another tune with Thomas and on my Tisch uh, community today is also Katharina Müter. And I knew her on my first time when I was on a workshop with Jora Feitmann and then I met her in Weimar and Weimar is as you know Ilana the place where uh, we had really uh, the possibility to learn a lot about Klezma and uh, this music in its contexts and uh, wonderful things and there we met Katharina again and then we played also together and um, we made some concert also in East Europe. So this music took us to Eastern Europe. I don't know if I would have gone there otherwise. And she loved uh, this Tischnigen we play now. So hello, Katharina Müter. She uh, died two years ago. Ah, yeah. And this melody we learned in Weimar from the Feldmann. Thank you. 
Yes, and this uh, melody takes me also to a, a nice remembrance I have. Last year we were in Moldova, in Chisinau, where the Klezmer music uh, ha has his roots, uh, first roots, and um, there we um, uh, went to, uh, to, to the birthday of um, of FEMA, FEMA, and uh, this is nice with this music. It takes me here and there, <laughs> and together with other people. Fantastic! That's Efim Chorney, who's um, a singer, Chorny. isn't he? And he composes. Uh, Annette, you need to move back a tiny bit because we're seeing most of you, but not your face. Oh, my <laughs> face is not so important. Great. <laughs> oh, Hi, here I am. Has anybody got any questions? Monica is saying hello after such a long time. Monica Fowle is here. Yeah, sorry, I got lost for some minutes. <laughs> Technical problems. Hi, Annette. Nice to see you. Does anybody have any, any questions for Annette? <laughs> and Thomas? Uh, well, I just have to ask for some more music then. Do you have any more uh, songs to play us? Yes, I have still um, from from your collection now, which is in the center of this wonderful project. And um, yes, it is um, number 40 and number 39. And uh, maybe, uh, Ilana, you can tell me something about it. Uh, this um, uh, from Berigowski, this uh, proposal of the tempo. I, I, um, I think it was an interesting um, thing to try it out, but also Tischnigen 39, I don't like it if it's in the quick tempo it's written there. Do you think it was really played so quick as it's written 138? Well, all I know is that in the introduction to the uh, volume, he says that um, he put them all into the same key um, just because then it's easy to compare, I suppose, or it just makes it easier. And also that he remembered he didn't have access to the recordings when he was writing them down necessarily. So he was remembering the speeds. So the speeds are approximate. So I think that you can do whatever you want. <laughs> when I was a little child, we had this uh, recordings and when we put 33 or 45 it goes, <laughs> and this was my idea if I play what is written there okay <laughs> and very uh, Freilach and yeah. 
I like also this um, uh, moods or this um, in G, G major. Um, yes, I know he write uh, this for standard, but my violin likes this sound. <laughs> I find it too. <laughs> and you have echoes in there of other Freiluchs that we play and dance music. I, You hear the tune and you think, ah, I know that tune, but it's slightly different. It's so interesting. Yes, yes. this is also in this Nigen 109. I, I uh, thought about the last uh, thing. <laughs> As a, then I got out that it is a little bit from a share I played, but uh, sometimes the parts of the melodies mix and um, uh, it's like a universe. I can go lost in it. <laughs> yes, maybe uh, this um, would be a, a last piece to be played. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. I think uh, Monica had um, a contribution to make. Are you there, Monica? Let's see if we can... Uh, Monica. I don't Hi, Annette. Yeah, no, um, it's great how you play it. I like that. Uh, just to your question about the tempo, I had two pieces um, where the uh, original recordings of the Rex Rolls were available. And my first impression when I saw the sheet music, I thought, oh, it's too fast. And so I listened to the Rex Rolls. And for example, in one piece, it was... 104 um how do you beats per minute but on the wax roll it was only 64 beats per minute per, per minute uh, great difference but the 64 uh, met my feeling much better so i think berikovsky was not very accurate <laughs> with his yeah. uh, information about uh, the tempo yeah. yes and um this, this feeling is for me also uh, so wonderful that in this uh, music, really, this has a priority. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, yes, Thomas had looked up if he has a telephone number of Berigowski, but didn't found it. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's at our tish today and he'll send us a message afterwards in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say you have one more tune, one more melody? Yes, um, I, uh, I, I um, liked your impulse and this time uh, my violin had a very deep sleep and uh, by getting your, um, uh, your Nikonim, it came out and uh, that was nice. And um, uh, yes, I play uh, Kaim, what I love of, uh, especially. Number hundred nine, and um, this is uh, in the end the part which I find it's like a Russian share. I know. <laughs> mix uh, two uh, modes. Uh, it's written in G and I sometimes play it in E and uh, A and now I saw I make, mix it. I'll, I'll try again. <laughs>
heimischer Freitag. So we are all very heimisch now. All over the world. <laughs> One of my favorites. Thank you so much, Aneta. Thank you. I think I'll unmute everybody so that everybody can. Uh... Oh, that one. Thank you, Aneta. Hey. Hi. Hi. Great to meet nice friends. Christine, Stefan, Tamar. Hello, hello. Hi. Pack mal dein Akkordeon aus und spiel mal Klappt ja leider nicht, hier ist alles zeitversetzt. Ja. Das ist. Be together, it's um, a great. I am longing for it and I hope that will soon be possible. 